Hi guys, it's Simon from Technolife Video, and I'm back with another video on how to replace the hard drive in your PlayStation 3. Um, this time we're looking at the Slim model, which I have just picked up. It is a brand new PS3, so I haven't used it at all. It has no data on it, so I will be replacing the internal hard drive, which is a 160 gig, with a brand new 500 gig. And then it will also be um, popping that 160 gig into a little enclosure. So I'll end up with a 160 gig portable hard drive. I'm actually going to get another one of those enclosures and do the same thing with my 80 gig out of my old PlayStation. Um, so basically, um, this PlayStation, um, I managed to pick it up for 250. Uh, that's, U that's Australian, um, I was gonna say US, <laughs> that's Australian dollars. Um, they're about three to 350. Um, for the 320 PlayStation, they're paying about about uh, 450, so probably about $100 more. I picked up the hard drive for 60 bucks. Um, it's actually a uh, a 7200 hard drive, very slightly faster in the PlayStation, but only slightly faster. Um, 5400s um, are fine. It was only like um, five or six dollars difference or something like that. So um, I just thought I'd get that one, um, and basically. Um, it's cheap for me to get this one, install a new hard drive, and I end up with a little portable as well um, uh, than getting the 320. So don't don't even consider getting a 320 gigabyte PlayStation. Get the 160, upgrade the hard drive, end up with a nice portable drive, and save yourself some dollars. So let's get to it. Um, now remember this just before we do. Um, this is a video on a brand new PlayStation, so we're not going to do the backing up that you would normally do if you've got an existing PlayStation. If you've got an existing PlayStation, click the annotation right there, um, which will take you to my other video, which also includes how to back up your PlayStation. And that video is also for the older style PlayStation rather than the slim. So if you've got a PlayStation that's not the slim, head on over to that video, and that one will help you out. Sorry about the voice, getting over a cold, but let's get stuck into it and let's change this hard drive over. All right, so here we go guys, PlayStation 3. You're also gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver to do this. And you're obviously gonna need your, um, your replacement hard drive, so that's this one here. Um, <clears throat> so, you get the slim, you just flip it over. This is actually where the hard drive is. I'm just trying to get some light on it. Hard drive actually sits in here. There is a little flap just here that we just need to flick open. You can actually do this with your fingernail. If you don't have fingernails, just a screwdriver. Do just flip that one open. And what you'll see there is the little blue screw. So what we need to do is just undo the little blue screw. Usually these are done up reasonably firmly. Shouldn't be too hard to get out though. I haven't actually done this before, so <laughs> we'll see how we go. Um, ah, there we go. So basically that little cover there just kind of slides off once you take that screw out. So that screw locks in there, just slides off to the side. If we have another look at the top, we can see that there, there's a little little handle there, just flick that one out, as you can see, and as simple as that, there's the hard drive, just like that. So it's not rocket science, now this, this hard drive here is going to be held in um, on the back here with four screws. Just move the PlayStation to the side for a second. So we've got this other hard drive. Just rip into this. So basically, four screws going to mount the hard drive the same way around, and it should all be dandy. So, what I'm actually going to do is just quickly unscrew these four screws here. 
pretty simple. Again, they're going to be quite firm to start with. Let's as my computer starts beeping at me, how about we mute that so it stops beeping? So I'm just going to take those four screws out. I'm just going to do this quickly off camera. So there we are. You want to know how what unscrewing a screw looks like? So I've quickly taken those four screws out, and you'll see it's got a, a lip on this side. You just need to flip the hard drive up sideways. It'll simply lift out. And with the other hard drive, same again. It's going to be the metal side's going to be up. Make sure the plugs are at the right end, the end without the metal on it. Simply going to slot down like that. You'll see it sitting in. Turn it over. You'll see that the four screw holes have lined up. And again, we'll just pop those screws back in. And just popping that last screw in there. There it is. New hard drive. It's actually a little bit thicker than the other one. You'll actually see that. This is actually quite a thin, thin drive. But that won't matter because it still sits in within the the, uh, the thickness of the little caddy here. Um, so that's how simple it is. <laughs> it really is this easy. Bring the hard drive in. Just pop the tray back in. Push it down. Push the little handle down. Cover goes back on. Slides back into place. And just lay it gently down. And just pop the blue screw back in. Cover back over, and there you go. And as I said at the start of this video, this hard drive is actually going to end up inside um, this little case. We'll just quickly get it out. Look here, we'll unbox at the same time. I actually had a look at it earlier, so I had taken it out of the, out of the uh, plastic bag that it was in. So that will just come apart, mount that in there and uh, it's just a simple uh, USB USB hard drive so beautiful I'm pretty sure you're all capable of uh, <laughs> doing that one without me making a video about it so that's the hard drive replaced ready to go so there you go guys that's the installation of a hard drive on your PlayStation 3 that's turned this guy from a 160 gig into a 500 gig bad boy now I can't wait to get this thing plugged in, but I've also ended up with this, which is a portable 160 gigabyte hard drive for obviously transferring files or taking things wherever I want to go. Um, so that's a little bonus. It's cost me a little over 300 bucks, about 330 dollars to do this. I did get a very good deal on the PlayStation, but you will save yourself some dollars um, doing this. It's a pretty simple process. You don't have to be a techno whiz to do it. Um, so give it a go. Um, shop around, you'll better get the hard drives really cheap these days. Um, I'm Simon from Techno Life Video. I'd love you to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you've got questions, put them down below. I will do my best to answer them, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I can pass you. the backup utility. Hi guys, it's Simon from uh, somewhere. Um, uh, hi guys, it's uh... so there you go, guys. That's the installation of a PlayStation on your hard drive three. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, please uh, rate, comment, subscribe. If you've got any questions, throw them down below. Um, if I can help, it, I will. Um, I'm Simon from Techno Life Video, and we'll see you next time. Bye.